Well, Aston Villa got the better of Spurs on the... Tyrese Hall lifts one into the area. Good-looking ball. Northern Ireland under 17 international. Weaves his way beyond Logan, who does well to slide in. And Spurs do well to prevent the corner kick. Aston Villa again, pushing. Best chance of the game, flashed over the top of the bar. Good goal-scoring opportunity. Eight minutes in, though, the game's still level at 0-0. Finding Iro. Iro on the run. Back to Black. Nice football from Spurs here on the edge of the penalty area. Olasese unleashing. And now Lahane, whose deflected effort rolls through and is easily saved by Sam Proctor. Well, Oli Iro cutting in from the right hand side did well. Asking questions here of the Aston Villa defence. Olasese and Lahane, though, couldn't find a way through. And he threw. And along the right hand side is where Aston Villa are getting more joy or seem to prefer to play. Pavey on the spin and Edwards with the effort that very nearly caught in the later stages of the season for the under 21s. Here comes Ellis Lahane. Lahane onto Iro. Manages to evade the challenges. Does well to get the cross in. Olasese lurking and Spurs with a big chance. Flash wide though by Kieran Morgan. There was a deflection which carried it away. Brilliant from Iro here. Did so well to get the cross into the area. And this is perhaps the best chance of the game for Spurs. The Villa defence doing well to recover. Central midfield role as well as playing at right back. Iro into Olasese now. Olasese made the run. And Spurs get the penalty. Well, the Aston Villa player is not so happy with the decision. Ellis Lehane holds his nerve. And despite the wait, puts Spurs ahead with 17 minutes of the game gone. Confidently hit by Spurs number nine. And we are back up and running for the new year with the opening goal going Tottenham Hotspur's way. Despite the arms being waved by the goalkeeper, Ellis Lahane made no mistake. Kieran Morgan lifts one, which should have been dealt with against Southampton. Will also be live kickoff at 7 p.m. Tyrese Hall has done well. He delivers. Good-looking ball as well. Flick towards Miracle Adewole. Comes to Morgan, who puts the chance wide. It was a lovely build-up from Spurs. From the angle, though, Kieran Morgan puts the chance just wide of the post. Aston Villa deliver. Look for the hook on. Pavey can't get... Chaplin lifting one over the top and Ellis Lehane is the willing runner and he'll get there as well the cut back into the area doesn't quite find Morgan though not initially Aston Villa hesitating at the back they allowed Morgan in big chance for a second well saved by Sam Proctor lovely running persistent play here from Ellis Lehane to get the ball back into the box and it just gave Kira Morgan the chance a good stop in the end by Sam Proctor and came out to pick that one up. Well, that's good play by Hall. Tenacious, and he's got the finish as well. Second goal of the afternoon. Head Spurs way. And Tyrese Hall gets the reward for his hard work on the edge of the penalty area, stealing possession and then smashing in. Spurs have been pressing right from the front ever since the kickoff here. Clever challenge by Hall, and how about this for a strike? Sustain it. Nice 
nice pace about Spurs attacking play. Hall rather ambitiously going for goal. Confidence in his step, having scored one just moments ago. Position as he spins away and finds the pass in towards Adewole. Adewole is going to go for goal here. Finds a side netting, never really looked as though it was a test for Sam Proctor. Here is Morgan. Oh, Sacy, Spurs chipping away, looking for goal number three. Chipped wide, though, by Ola Sacy, who was slightly off balance as he hit that one and never really looked at the sensible option instead. Iroh's pass wasn't really one that King wanted. The bounce was awkward. And Aston Villa given the chance to get themselves back into the game, but it's one they don't take. Tame effort in the end from Cole Brannigan. Is comfortably stopped by Kerry Blodorn. Was always a risky pass back to Mason King. Well, Spurs under 18s return, and it's been an excellent start to the new year so far. Two goals ahead at half time. Ellis left. Now Spurs centre back. And he can manage to get the ball back towards Kerry Blodorn. The threat not completely dealt with here as Aston Villa come forward again. Blodorn touch and Aston Villa with their best. Aston Villa with a chance. Sent over the top of the bar by Hemmings. Well, he had space inside the area, perhaps more than he knew. Couldn't keep the strike down, no test in the end for Kerry Blodorn. This was the initial cross that caused the danger. Just wasn't quite able to head it goalwards. One back by Leo Black. And here is Chaplin now. Feeds it wide. Black's delivery. Oh, the delivery was very nearly of the Spurs attack. Although, as we know, with Mikey Moore, he loves to roam. Here is Ellis Lahane. He's going for goal. He's wide of target. And the flag was raised in any case, so it wouldn't have counted here. And Morgan is there. Now Hall. Wide to Olasese. And call Adewole. Lifts one into the area. Good looking ball onto the head of Ellis Lahane. And Ellis Lahane can only nod over the bar when perhaps the goalkeeper should have been tested. Learning your lessons. And there was a lesson there for Ellis Lahane, who had near enough the perfect pass. Oh, it's Sola Sacy who unleashes, edge of the penalty area. Looked as though that was destined all of a sudden for the top corner, but Sam Proctor had other ideas. Here is Pavey. Lifts the ball to the back of the area. Mikey Moore's touch onto Ellis Lahane. More sprints to get there. Force back, force back towards King. Spin by Leo Black. Has a glance up, plays the pass, spurs her in. It could so easily have been goal number three. But it's a brilliant save by Sam Proctor, the goalkeeper. And now Spurs have to be careful as Aston Villa tried to break. Brannigan on the charge, making the run, has support as well. Arrives in the shape of Edwards, who goes down here. Well, what a turnaround for Aston Villa from one end of the field to the other. And Aston Villa will have a penalty. And this was the challenge. They're standing number nine for the day. Up against Kerry Blodorn. Pavey's efforts up into the top corner. You don't stop those. And Aston Villa have a route back into the game. Spurs still ahead, but only just Spurs two. Aston Villa won. Lovely penalty. Superbly struck. Now Spurs must nicely worked through midfield. 
from Blowdown to Olesese on towards Morgan, who frees Mikey Moore. Moore makes the burst on the outside, and it just clipped his own foot there as he was about to take the shot. Danger with Mikey Moore. Leo Black through the legs. See you later. In towards Mikey Moore. Moore's pass. Lovely football from Spurs. Moore's in. Lehane's header over the top of the bar, unbelievably. Well, it was so intricate and it had to be in a tight position on the edge of the six yard box. Somehow, Spurs managed to put this passing move together. Lehane into Moore. Moore fed it back and Lehane had to improvise after. Well, that is persistence and it pays off for Aston Villa. Two goals conceded in the second half. Spurs have let the two goal lead go and all of a sudden it's 2 2. On a Chukwu, the substitute is there, but the hard work was really done here by one of their other changes here in the second half. Brad Burrows did ever so well, laid in the pass. And really, it's a simple thing. Get in, Charlie, get in. Get round it, Carl, get round it, Carl. Ellis Lahane spins, finds the pass. Eric Aladewole joining the attack, couldn't get there. Ola Sacy battling to find a way through. Mikey Moore can't respond. Luca Lynch breaks free of the challenges from the Spurs midfield, feeds the ball through. All of a sudden, Aston Villa are in. Kerry Blodor makes a good... Fed through here by Morgan. Lahane is free. Lahane will go for goal. The angle was tight and he couldn't find the far corner. He was close, very close, but not quite close enough. Pavey now, finding Brannigan. Brannigan's delivery into a good position, and it looked at returns the pass, plays in Mikey Moore. Can Moore deliver? Morgan now. Good ball into the area, big chance as well for Tyrese Hall. An opportunity for his second of the afternoon, but it's one that he puts wide and the reaction tells you the story. That was a good chance. Tyrese Hall wins possession, plays in Moore, flicks in Lahane, back to Moore. Moore looking to be the hero for Spurs. But the goalkeeper reacts quickly, now Hall. The chance is put wide. Well, you have to give credit to the Aston Villa defence because they have made things awkward, but Spurs have had so many moments like this. Nearly chances in this second half. Spurs slightly lucky. Here is Hall. Slips the challenge. Hesitates and with reason finds Lehane. Peels away towards the left. You know he's looking for Mikey Moore. And he's found him with the pass. Moore feeds it through. Spurs are in. Well, they've left it late. But Tyrese Hall has scored his second of the afternoon. And Spurs are surely heading for a valuable three points. Tottenham Hotspur back on top. Heading up to the top of the league tonight above West Ham. And finally, the intricate passing in response to the deep defending pays off. And Hall is there. King. Up towards Lahane. He's uh, managed to bring just about everything in here this afternoon. That one was a bit more difficult. And there we go. There's the final whistle. Spurs take the opportunity to get back on top. They will be at the top of the table for now, with West Ham not playing in the league until Tuesday. They very nearly surrendered the lead, but Tyrese...